Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube channel background and this is another design as the other one I've already made. This is a brand new design and I'm going to make it a Christmas channel background and of course you can use the same design for any other sort of channel background, anything you like, but because it's Christmas time I'm going to make a Christmas channel background. So the first thing you need is a template and that's this one and I will leave a link in the description to this template and do download it because you're gonna need it and um, when you've got it you can easily follow this tutorial and what you need to do first is make your foreground color this color red and that's B52626 and click OK and make your background color this lighter color red and that's FF7878 and click OK and now go to your blend tool and stroke up from bottom to top uh, while you have your control key pressed on your keyboard like this and then it will look like this and now go to your rectangle select tool and make a rectangle selection like this and make sure it's a selection inside the guides and this is fine and now go to your layer dialog create a new layer by clicking on this icon here and call this layer foreground Okay, and now go back to your blend tool and this time stroke down with the same colors and holding control on your keyboard and it will look like this. And now create a new layer again by clicking on this icon here and call this shadow. And now go to your bucket fill tool, change your foreground color to black and you can do this by clicking on this icon here and then just click in this and it will be black. And now go to your layer dialog and move the shadow layer down one step so it's behind the foreground layer. Now select the foreground layer and create a new layer. And we're going to call this layer border. And now make sure your foreground color is still black and go to edit stroke selection. And in stroke selection you need to set the line width to 1 and click stroke. And now go to select none. And now go back to your sh mm, shadow layer. And go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And where is it? It's here. And set the settings to 50, 50 horizontal and vertical. And click OK. And this creates the nice shadow behind the middle bit. And we're going to uh, get rid of the guides here now. Those are the blue lines here. And it's easily done by going to your move tool. And make sure that pick a layer or a guide is ticked. And then hover over one of these guides and click on it and move it to the left. And going to do the same with the other guide. So now it looks like it should. And now what we're going to do is make the Christmas tree trees appear. And go to your layer dialog first and make sure that the top layer is activated. And now um, open this image here and I will leave a link in the description to this image. And you can easily uh, from your layer dialog drag this into this image and then let go and then you will have a new layer. But it doesn't work when I'm recording so I'm going to go to edit, copy and then edit paste in this image and that will create a floating selection and when I click on create a new layer here this icon it will be a normal layer. and I'm gonna flip this layer with my flip tool here and make sure it's set to horizontal so the star in the on top of the tree will be to the left like this and now I'm gonna go to my move tool and move this to about here and I want it behind the foreground here so I'm gonna move this pasted layer here down to like this to below the shadow layer and now I want this Christmas tree here and here as well so I'm going to duplicate the pasted layer by clicking on this icon here twice and then uh, still in my move tool I'm gonna uh, click on this and just move this down to about here and move this a bit a little bit more like this and then click on the top one again and move this down as well to about here and move this correctly and it looks fine so now I'm gonna create my text and first of all I'm gonna go back to my 
layer dialog and make sure I'm on my top layer uh, that's activated and then I'm going to go to my foreground color and change it to this color green and the notation is 009500 and click OK and I'm going to go to my text tool and I'm using the font Toonies and I think it's a free font I'm not sure but if it is I will leave a link in the description and I will leave a link in the description for the Christmas trees as well and I'm going to use the size 128 and then just click in my image and type in Merry Christmas and there we go Merry Christmas and click close and now I want this font to go up uh, from top down here and I'm gonna do that by going to layer transform rotate 90 degrees clockwise and now it reads downwards and I'm gonna move to the correct position by going to my move tool and make sure you're on the font when you move it and move it to about here and I want to make a nice black border around this so I'm gonna change my foreground color to black and now I'm going to right click in my layer dialog, dialog on the text layer, the Merry Christmas layer and click Alpha to selection and now I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon here and I'm going to call this text border and click OK and I'm going to move the text border layer below the Merry Christmas layer like this and now I'm going to go to select grow and I'm going to grow this by 4 pixels and click OK and now I'm going to go to my bucket fill tool and click once inside the selection and then you've got a border around your text and now I'm going to go to select none and I need to do one more thing to make this look perfect on YouTube and first of all I'm going to go to my layer dialog and make sure I'm on my border layer and then I'm going to zoom in all the way to 100% and scroll down and make my image a little bit bigger and then you will see that there's a line here and I want to erase this line by going to my eraser tool and I'm using a brush of circle 11 and scale of 10 and well anything is fine really as long as it's as it's a hard brush and make sure you're not erasing too much in the corners you just want to erase this line like this and to about here and that's fine and this way you can make your YouTube channel background color the same color as the bottom color here and when you scroll down it will look perfect so that's all and I'm gonna go back to 45% so you can see the end result and if you want to know how to save this I've got a video on how to save a YouTube channel background for YouTube and it's called save for web and I will leave a link in the description to this to that video if you need it and so you can watch it so um, I think we're done and I hope you liked this video and if you did then maybe you'd like to su subscribe and watch my other videos and thank you for watching and happy holidays